so proud. This is what Yahuwah said to me. To me. This is what Yahuwah meant now to me. Yeah. To me. This is what Yahuwah taught me. In his secret place. In his hiding place. He told me this. Yes, he told me this. Oh, woman, I'm so in you. Oh, woman, I'm lost in you. Oh, woman, I just love you. Oh, woman, I am in love with you. Like I love life itself. Oh, woman, I respect you. I honor you. I am done you. That is the way I taught and discipline myself for you. Oh, woman. Oh, woman. Oh, woman. Oh, woman. Oh, woman. Great is your womb. That covered me. Great is your breast that nourished me. Great is your thigh that shared me with the joy of my kingdom. Mm -mm. With the glory of my kingdom. Mm -mm. With the power of my kingdom. Oh woman, yeah. Oh woman, oh woman, woman, hey, woman, woman. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This face makes you so attractive to me. This face makes you so attractive to me, to me, yeah. yeah. This face. Makes you so attractive to me, like a war in my soul, like a flood in my heart, like a war in my soul, like a flood in my heart. Your breast, your hair, your tongue, your womb. came in between your time to produce my song. I trust my spawn in your womb to produce my song. You are not just a woman, but my sacred vessel, but part of my flesh. A woman, a woman, a woman, a woman. confess to you, I would not be a man today without you. I would not be a father today without you. Oh, womb, you are my helper today. Oh, womb, you are my helper today. You are my great joy in all. You are my great joy in all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, wonderful. 
All right now, family. Here we are in the heavenly card room of Abbe Yehua with this powerful life-giving message already titled for you and me right at part one, the mystery of black color. It's what St. Peter and his seeds feels the most, part five. Family, in case I share this in the news feed, you just call me contact with this part five and you haven't listened to one, two, three, four. Please kindly drop it, okay? And just go and do just that, okay? Because we have, we have run, or in fact, come a long way. So what, what are we doing and what is the title? Black, the mystery, the mystery of black is heavy, heavy. So, all right, we have already, uh, you know, the introduction, you're going to find that in part one. We have black came from the origin of colors. <laughs> all right, now. So, the part two, I'm going to find a very little B. Mm -hmm. So, that was so heavy. He occupied two videos. All right. So, the part four, you're going to find three alphabets over there. Okay. Those ones, we are so light. We just, I bet you why just, you know, <laughs> make that one also simple, but still powerful and profound. All right. That is the letter L, the letter A, the letter C uh, in one video, which is part four. So, all right, I want to dig into the very last letter. Should I call the mystery of B, L, A, C? Should I do that? All right, now. The B, B but you, you still need to go and listen to it, okay? Simply go for blue blood lineage not red blood red blood is a symbol and a sign of corruption all right listen to every other one it all right go and listen to it now the l so what did they go for we don't find that at part four or in part four right there lasting love powerful profound so what about the a a dam above all. Powerful. What about the C? Covenanty children of Yehovah. Pam! Powerful. I love this mystery, okay? In fact, I think this must be my most favorite. I have a lot of mysteries, okay? So right now, in order for you to... You see, I, I, said, I just say it very, very, very simple. But when you go and sit down with the mindset of the biblical Messiah, <laughs> class is going to be taking place within you. Deliverance, you shall know the truth. Then they say you shall cast a man only for you to know the truth, and that truth will set you free. In order for you to be free, which me which simply means lies, you know, entangled you or enslaved you. Alright now. So right now we just rush quickly into the very last lecture, and we also have just one point. And I I, I don't think I will be able to to add it so where again the very uh, last point just one point not even last only one point okay so we're gonna find what every single color right in the new f so why that is why you need to follow up right now when we are done with this part five follow up with part six because i won't be able to also add that one they will have you know a lot of readings as well, like likewise this. So right now, the letter K, the K, the K. <laughs> if you are smart enough, you should have, you know, understand. We are, we are going to. So the letter K, what did it go for? King of Kings, Kingdom. Mm. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> should I call it again? The letter K in this, you know holiest word called black you don't look and you you know cast that word down i had some of this uh you know see that simple saying that uh the the mark on the head of k was black so black people is the say that simple what <laughs> what whereby the royal law make it so so clear that i bet you what hide this secret is dark Dark, black, darkness. Mm? What? Where about in fire? What color are you going to get in fire? Listen to part one, my friend. What color are you going to get? You know, fire. 
<laughs> we came from fire. I bet you what is fire, right? In its true essence, is fire. Fire. Go to Exodus chapter 19, you're going to see fire. He descended. My son are quick. Fire all over. All right. So, now from fire, we have four colors. Mm -hmm. first, of, first of all, I think I made a mistake in the part four. Half cars cannot come from fire. I'm sorry. It was this, you know. I don't even I don't even know when I said it. When I listen to it, I said, oh no. It is not correct. So this fire you're gonna get very light brown. Very, very light brown. They will proceed now to dark brown. Okay? You're gonna get light brown, very, very light light. Then you proceed now you can also get brown then we can also get dark brown and afterwards what what color black excuse me black so this are that is what I, you keep saying that he have a woolly hair that is correct so right now where did the white came from like i said listen to one two three four they are all powerful all right now where did the white came from that simply means to say when you set something ablaze, light fire on it, it will keep burning and burning and burning. So when the fire is off, everything is totally, you know, burnt to ashes. What color are you going to get? You simply get white color. And that is the origin of white. That's it. And who is that? <laughs> A thought of white. That is serpent, the red dragon. That is why it's red dragon. They are all red, red, red blood. Red blood is a sign of pollution, okay? That is why they are red in everything. Okay, he saw it's red. Edamites. Simply mean red. It's a sin, okay? The red porridge, yes. <laughs> that is a man of sin that eats sin as a food, okay? Now the red dragon. <laughs> and now the red beast. <laughs> and what is red? As I am one it is said. Uh, if you see this red or scarlet, come over and let's discuss it. Red simply means sin. And we we'll also see from uh, Leviticus 15. When women say blood, don't even come not, not, not the temple. You are unclean. What about the flu of the woman every month? Is a cause. A sign of pollution that the white blood and blue blood are supposed to be saving eternal. The white blood automatically sempered. Allah, the, 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 it is the very Allah, okay? He not turned the white, uh, white blood into what? Right. So then we still have that testimony within us. We have white blood, sir. The blood that should have taken us for all eternity and is still going to be come back for the, um, in these last days. That is the, the, you know, a glorified body uh, right now. It is blue. That is why we see the blue vein. That is the blue, the color you are seeing in your vein. Listen to every other pen. That they call it desuggenated blood. It's not counting for now. But at the end of it, it's gonna pick it up and carry us for all eternity. And we also have white blood cell. Every blood in us should have been just blue and white because that is the color of heaven. Alright, now purity, you know, righteousness, holiness. What? Hmm? So what happened? Serpent not genetically modified us and turned something that was supposed to be white into red. Danger. Bam, bam. When you are on traffic lights, when you say red, if you don't stop, you are on your own. <laughs> you are just on your own. Okay. Go and, you know, on the hot water. And don't, don't, don't miss it with cold water. Just on the red, red one. And use hot water to bath. Sorry. You are on your own. That's it. Pam. Settled. So right now we'll go for the very last letter. What did it go for? What? Like you heard already. Kings. Excuse me. King of kings. Kingdom. <laughs> there are kings. But he's the overall. His kingdom. So let's just, you know, unveil that. All right. All right. Now here we are. Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to 10. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Though we all be done in this earth as it is in your heaven. Whoa. In your heaven, let it be done. Oh, my father, you who are, let your kingdom come. That is the prayer he taught you and me. <laughs> All right? All right, okay. This is the kingdom. King of kings, kingdom. And this glory is you no know, hiding inside black. His kingdom is in us. Okay? It's in the chosen, okay? Don't get it twisted like I said all through. I'm not saying this not to favor no white body people. White people. Alright, I'm not saying it at all. I'm doing a confirmation of the royal law. The Romans 27, 26 said, because you are, if you did not confirm, okay, the 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 the, the, the law, the saying of the law. I know I don't want to be on that cross. So we are it's double edged sword. So we are using the uh, both sides. I'm not saying this to please no, nobody at all. I'm not saying this again that all blacks in this planet are the seed of of, of a baby who are not at all. Saint Taka also have black people as his own seed. Okay, not only the white, but we are really the origin of white people and the origin of a uh, black people. Okay, so right now, I'm not saying this to please nobody and don't get it twisted at all. We just take it the way it is. All right. So right now is the king of kings kingdom. So we want to begin to unveil the functioning of the kings of the king of kings kingdom. So while he was ascending back through the ladder of Yakub, he now taught us this prayer. Worship him and know that you have a father which is in heaven. Worship him, Allah be thy name, and desire this one prayer. Let thy we let thy kingdom come. So that kingdom is coming down here on earth. Okay, the very one serpent or put right in Genesis 3. You know, the garden of Eden, that's what we are speaking of. Went back straight to heaven. All right. For the word of Esau, you know, to serve for 7,000 years. We're already in the beginning of 7,000 years, okay? Just 1,000 years to go. So before the kingdom will come down. All right. So before the kingdom will come down. So that kingdom is eternal. This is the very one he taught you and me we should desire light. Just as the blue blood, you know, in our way to remind you of heaven of who you are. Alright, Numbers 15, 38 to 39. He said we should pull, put a, a blue, uh, uh, rib, uh, ribbon, uh, ribbon of blue color in the edge. The man, he, sp he speaks to the man, okay. In the, in the edge of our garments, to do what to remember you of Yehovah's commandment. What is his commandment? That you are his, that you shouldn't mess up, that you shouldn't live the straight way he taught you. To keep you in that straight way back to heaven. Blue, it is the color of heaven. Listen to uh, two and three. You're going to find it over the powerfully established. All right, now let me not keep saying one thing. Ah, I'm tired. Here I want to deal with now the functioning of the kingdom of Yehovah that the king of glory, the king of kings is bringing down here on earth. All right now. The mm, Bori 30 verses 4. If any of thy, if any of thy be driven out into, okay now. If any of thy be driven out unto the uttermost parts of heaven, from thence we Yehovah the Elohim gather thee, and from thence we leave fresh thee. So where is the gathering going to begin? Like we we have already been driven into the fourth corner of the earth. So what is he talking about? As soon as if we die in this our land of exile, straight away. If we, we, we are with Jesus, we know <laughs> the name of Jesus, the mark of the beast, because we are the people of the book. The blessed is the man who see Yehovah did not count against. But you are not going to heaven when you die, you know, uh, in the four corner of the earth. When you die with all this garbage, Christianity keeping, you are not going straight to heaven. Where are you going? The bosom of Father Abraham for cleansing. Okay? We see our forefather started for, from Adam. We are in the bosom 
and Father Abraham until Yehoshua comes. So any imperfect in you, you don't go straight to heaven. The bosom of Father Abraham, that is where the cleansing is, okay, in the day of atonement, I saw that vision powerfully in the case of my mother, okay, before Mikael, the, the chief high angel, will not move up, pian, to heaven. So right now, wherever we die, in this land of our Ezar, okay, man is going to die in Babylon, all right now. So what is going to happen, just what I said, okay, so where is the gathering going to be begins? As we are talking about the gathering, it's already going on. Anyone that died in the uttermost part, where Abiyawa has already been driven us because of our sin, all right? So what will die over there? The gathering is going on already, Mikael, okay? We'll take you down to the bosom of Abraham, you know, for a period of a time for cleansing. The, the, the gathering is already going on. But the final one, that is what we, not the final one, no, still not final one, all right now. But as he's coming, the, he's, you know, angels is coming with him. That is, what, that is where we start now. That is the functioning of the kingdom. So let's put some more. Matthew 24, I take from 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. Okay. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then, and, yeah, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Not small, okay, great glory. And he shall, what is the glory? It is the glory of the former and the latter restoration. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. All right now. From one end of heaven to the other. Did you see the gathering? As soon as Mikael sent down trumpet, because he's coming with the voice of Ike Angel, which is Mikael. All right. As soon as he releases that, pow, 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 the trap of Yehuda, right in the heavenly, will be gathered together. Uh huh. Then we'll meet up with the one right here on earth because they are the ones to be saved first before the general one. We put some more. All right, now Zechariah 12 7. Yehovah also shall save the tents of Yehudah first, that the glory of the house of Dawid and the glory of the inhabitants of Yerushalayim do not magnify themselves against Yehudah. Why? Yes, Yehuda is the royal tribe, is the kingly tribe. They will never know what is tribulation. All right? <laughs> All right, now here I am. Revelation 3, 7. And to the angel of the congregation in Philadelphia, this is the tribe of Yehuda. Philadelphia simply means brotherly love. So the overall, okay, King of kings, love his own tribe. This is the royal tribe. Listen now. And to the angel of the uh, congregation in Philadelphia, write this thing, saith he that is holy. He that is true. He that hath the key of what? David. That is the tribe of Yehuda, the kingdom of praise, of worship. Powerfully. Because we took the seat of Satan where he fell. He was the high priest of praise and worship. We found that in Ezekiel 28. But because of the not beginning to lift up his shoulder. <laughs> but the royal tribe now took over. Nonsense. We can do it better than you. Alright. Because we are the people who praise Yehovah. That is the meaning of Yehuda, The worshiper of Yehovah. Yes. The key of David. Uh huh. The royal kingdom is coming down. He that openeth and no man, sh oh, you can't you can shut, okay? If you're so short, no way you can't open. You see, I know that works. Behold, I have said before thee an open door come over here right away. I was in the spirit, and no man, <laughs> and no man can shut it. Mm -mm. For thou hast a little strength, and I has kept my word. 
and has not denied my name, Yahushua. We did not deny Yahushua for Jesus. So we come out of her already, my people. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. That is the red family, the red leprosy, the red family in the Holy Land today. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. <laughs> we said they are Yahudims. Yahudim simply means just one tribe, not the whole Israel, because these are the f tribe that needs to go first. And not, but the lie, the seed of serpent. You are of your father, the devil. is a murderer and a liar right from the beginning. And if you want to lie, he will enter his Arabic language, <laughs> which is Allah, the dragon, the great deceiver that deceived the whole world. Allah is a pet deceiver. Sayeth Quran. <laughs> you have your father the devil, a liar. He never holds on to the truth. <laughs> and he's a liar and the father of all liars. They do lie. Synagogue said that they deceive the whole world. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Okay. And know that I have loved you. So what did he say there? To worship you? Yes, to serve you. So that was why I said follow up with the very last, uh, uh, no, the first, the only, only, uh, uh, points. So you're going to see white man in the kingdom. Every race, every color, will co they are coming in into the kingdom but for just one service. To save as a house boy and as a house girl. But the one that come from Ephraim, they are just like us. Because if Ephraim joined himself with these nations, from Ephraim, other colors, white, whatever what they are coming in. All right, but those are they are not servants. Those are they are not slaves. Mm -mm. They will be honored. They are part of the tribes. They are the tribe of Ephraim. You know, we have 14 tribes all together. 12 original tribe and 2 extended tribe. You can see that at, uh, in Nova chapter 1, Nova chapter 2. All 14 tribes is listed over there, okay? 12 original tribe and 2 extended one from uh, Yasuf. So, this synagogue set that is coming to worship, worship at our feet. We'll let you know how they're coming. But this are uh, again, when you go to Ezekiel for the seven years, you say any stranger that sojourneth, okay, with you, this how they are also going to get their heritage in the Holy Land. That is husband and a husband, okay? So as the Yahushua is coming first, the tribe of Yehuda is going to say first, and every slave, servant, husband, husband, that, that, that sojourneth with Yehuda. They are all coming, they are not also going, they will never also experience what is what? Tribulation, because they sojourneth with the tribe of Yehuda. Now, 10. Because thou art kept the word of my patient, and also I will keep thee from the hour of tribulation, which shall come upon the whole world. That is Sharia law. To so try that, that dwell upon the earth. That is Allah the Great, the red dragons. Coming with great hunger, okay? 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. <laughs> Allah, you can't take it away. Jesus, you can't take my crown. Two of them. Him, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of Yehovah, and he shall go no more out, no more slavery. Mm -mm. And I will write upon him the name of my father, that is Yehovah. So that is my name forever. And the name of the city of my Yehuwah, that is the new earth, the new Yerushalayim, which is in Yerushalayim, which is new Yerushalayim, that's correct, which cometh down out of heaven from my Yehuwah, that's the Zekidah we are dealing with over here. And I will write upon him my new name. This is where they get the, the, the you know, the miscalculate, the whole matter. My new name. Yahusha is not his name. And he said he have other name. Have you ever seen him become a father, daddy? Have you ever seen him become my sweetie, my husband? I just love it. Have you ever seen him in that romantic form <laughs> of a husband and a father? That is his new name. He's going to be having seed here on earth. He's going to be having wife here on earth. Have you ever seen that office in him? This is the functioning of the kingdom. Just as the first Adam have a wife and children, the same with the second Adam. His, that is his new name. Papa, daddy, come over. Mm -hmm. And he's going to also go. <laughs> he's also going to be carrying baby. All right now. Serious, okay? 
Mm -hmm. It's also going to be bank, bank. Yes, his wife is going to be a married man, 100%. And he's going to be a father, 100%. Okay, because he have every part. That was why he was circumcised. Why did he carry a balagba for? He <laughs> to find his wife. That is his new day. Father and a wife. Okay. <laughs> Throughout the scriptures, we call it husband, bridegroom, bridegroom. Is, that is going to be a practical in his life. It's going to be a husband. Not, <laughs> I'm sorry. A father and a husband. That is his new name, okay? That is his new office. No one has ever, ever. You know, when the first Adam finished working, I bet you what gave him his wife. He also has already finished working. Now he's coming now. Bring it down the kingdom. And he's coming with his wife. And who could that be? And Mary Magdala. Maria Magdala. That is his wife. Now, Genesis 2. You see, when Abbey wants want to, you know, make complete the life of the first Adam, what did he do? He took a breeze. Adam, the first Adam died. He shed a blood. Okay, from his side. Likewise, the second Adam also did likewise. Blood he also shed. And there comes his physical... His, uh, the, the congregation, excuse me. Yeah, the con congregation. He's the bridegroom. Okay. And that one is going to be practical in his life. Because the first Adam also... You know, do have that same fellowship, but with animal. But it doesn't matter. Okay? He first of all named every single animal. Whatever, whatever, whatever we are seeing today here on earth. The first Adam worked for Abba Yehuah. And he named them all. Now, according to the book of Jubilees, okay? He worked for Abba Yehuah for one week. And Yehoshua has already done that, excuse me, for seven days. Okay? For a whole week, the 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 the, the, the other week, before Abiyawana gave him his kawa completeness. So Yehoshua has also been working, you know, for a whole week. That is seven days, which simply means seven thousand years. Now he's coming now to get his wife. All right, that is what he's coming for. Coming for, excuse me. That is the functioning of the kingdom. Uh, what are the scriptures again? Now, when you go to Revelation 12, so this is where they see the serpent blasphemed. Revelation 12, okay, that is the picture of his wife, a woman cloth with a son, okay, and the moon under her feet, and the crown of 12 stars upon her head. We know angels are stars, all right, that one we know too well. Revelation 8, 10 to 11, okay, he named them angels are stars, all right. So this woman carried 12 stars in her head. In the wife of Yehoshua, this is no doubt at all. He's going to be bringing forth 12 children, angels reproduced into flesh, okay, here on earth at a time. And this is where Sempet also duplicates the very one they are doing today through IVF. That will plant 11 children, 9 children. I saw 17, but I don't know if that, that, if that was true. I couldn't confirm that. But for that of 11, it was confirmed. 6, 8, 9, it is confirmed. So that is where he is duplicating. Because whatever, whatever that is in sin, this um, true Messiah, some people will first of all ravage it all. Okay, if we first of all make full of it. He will first of all make games of, of it. So that we should see it as something unique. He will first of all, you know, just ravage it. That is where he blasphemed. And that is the glory of the biblical Messiah, his wife, Pratica. Okay? So the stars of 12 crowns on our head, that is the 12 children, at a given time, he's going to be bringing forth for Yehoshua. Now the son, we know that is Yehoshua. He wrapped her all over. And she was pregnant. This woman is going to be pregnant all the time. Okay? That is the prophecy over there. And what was on her feet? The moon. And the moon was the glory of the first Adam, the lesser moon. Okay, the sun is the greater light. Why the moon is the lesser light? So Adam was the lesser light under our feet. Okay, so what, what is going on? The wife of Yehoshua, the a wife of Yehoshua, okay, is going to be playing the part of the first woman that missed the game. She is restoring that glory back through her. I bet your wife is going to do it through her. Okay. The greater saint is the king himself. That is the functioning of the kingdom. And the 12 star, it is the each given time, 12 children. Whatever, whatever you are seeing, Satan is duplicating. Know it that 
it, 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 it's, it's of a greater glory upon the Holy One. But you first of all ravage it and make full of it. Alright, for you not to see it as a miracle. Or for, because I don't expect the wife of the biblical Messiah to be giving birth as every other normal one. No, he's almighty. This hair with his wife. He said, I am a father, we are one. Him and his wife is going to be one powerfully. Alright now. So we put some more. <laughs> Alright now, Genesis 29. Okay. You know, he came through the ladder of Yakub. From where come the twelve tribe. You can see that on uh, Genesis 28, that was where Yahushua re echoes it as, uh, in, in John chapter 151. Here we are, Genesis 29, 20 to 21. And Yaakov said seven years for Rachel, and seemed unto him but a few days, for he, for the love he had for uh, to her. And Yaakov said unto Laban, uh, Laban, give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. Exactly the same with Yahushua. When he's coming, Abba Yahweh is going to give him his wife. A man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife. When he's coming, he's leaving his father, he's leaving, you know, his father in heaven. Then come down with his own wife. Because that is the question, that is the demand going on. Now give me my wife, because I've already said for seven days. Okay. And the marriage, the biblical marriage of the people of the book always lasts for seven long days. We are already in the beginning of 7,000 years. Yes, it is, this is the function of the kingdom. Now, Revelation uh, 19, 1 to 9. Okay, but I'm taking from 7 for the sake of time. Okay, so right now, where iniquity is being death with, four good times, hallelujah, 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 was being shattered by the, you know, angels in heaven, they heard light, hallelujah, because <laughs> the kingdom of the king of kings is coming right down. So I read now 7. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. Mariam is ready. This is going for the both sides, the ministry and his wife, Pratica. And to her was granted that she should be enriched in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints, a sense, excuse me, as is coming everyone in heaven from the trap of Yehuda. They have already made themselves ready. Why the trap of Yehuda here on earth also made themselves ready for the husband to come? Now, now. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true saints of Yehuda. Alright now. Now I saw heaven. Now I saw heaven open. And behold the white horse. Alright now. This is the father of it all. The king of kings. This is the final of it all, okay? The final, the final, you know, to bring every other tri the tribe back, okay? Coming for war, hmm? the kings of kings. So I want to read now, verse 16. And he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, king of kings, and Adonai of Adonai, on his thigh. What is, where is your thigh? <laughs> where is your thigh? So why should the name be written between your laps? For what? In for what reason? Does it make sense to you? Not his forehead, not his hand, whatever, whatever. But in his private parts. And for this king of kings, <laughs> why should the king of kings be placed on, you know, between his Agbalagba? <laughs> on his time. You know, when uh, 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 the seventh, uh, of our of, uh, father Abraham was going for a wife, Genesis 24. Father Abraham has said, Come over here, you should go and bring Babylonia daughter, okay, Jezebel to my son. Mm -mm. Break your hand, put it under my tongue. I swear, this is how it's gonna, this is how I want it to be. If you ever change this statement, oh, yeah, I swear, and they did it, okay, he not left. So, why now should Yehoshua's name be written? Between his laps, time. What is in your time? Can you answer that? Right now, he's still speaking. He's the king of kings. When he comes, don't expect it to give him birth. Only one, two children, four, five. Mm -mm. It is two of That makes him king of kings. That makes him a supernatural man without plenty. That makes him above all. That makes him almighty on earth. It's in, it, it's in his time. Mm, the secret is over there. 
a name that the name written, a name is written in his star, King of Kings, yeah, is supersede all. He is almighty. And I expect his wife to be giving, giving birth just as every other. Mm, 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 they are going to be unique here on earth because the secret is right in his Agbalagba and his testers. It's, it's written in his star. Mm? This very star speaks of a uh, 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 marital affair. Okay, like we see from Genesis 24, Father Abraham and his servant. Okay, marital affair. That is what was over there. Okay, written over there. Okay, his own is going to supersede all and all. So that is the functioning. Another functioning is also going to do a powerful miracle for his family, which is the tribe of Yehuda. You can see that in John chapter 2, his first miracle, okay, was being released right at wedding, okay, cleansing of wedding. As soon as he himself goes into wedding, every yoke is broken. Wedding is going to be heavy on earth. And May is going to teach me how to handle their wives. He's going to teach me how to take care of their children. That is his, the functioning of his kingdom, not two wives, okay, just one, monogamy. He is coming with just monogamy. How much is going to be sold into his wife? How am I going to be giving himself every now and then to his wife? How am I going to really, you know, pour all his heart of love upon his wife? That is what is, first of all, going to start the teaching with the tribe of Yehuda. So, my brother, especially uh, uh, Judea, please put that teaching of yours in the dustbin. Seven women, you're going to, uh, <laughs> they can marry seven women, put that in the dustbin. And go back to where uh, uh, polygamy came from, or polygyny. Go back to Genesis chapter 4. You're going to see that it came from the loins of serpent. How can you not be abide and dwell in the teachings of the city? See that serpent is going to teach you? Where are you going to get that ribs? Because only one ribs about your wife took from the mouth. Only one ribs he also took from Yahushua. We see the bleeding of the water and the blood. And the same other first Adam. So where are you going to get, get seven ribs? Where is it coming from? It's one, okay? Don't add it to it and don't take out of it, okay? So the first journey we see already, when he brought all the tribes of Yehuda, he goes straight into marriage. That is going to be, you know, the whole earth is going to quake. This is talking about his own marriage. Restoration, we see the sea spot over there. You, if you want to understand the fullness of this very message, go and listen to one message I did, I think it was last year, powerfully. The mystery of bride, bridegroom. Bride and bridegroom. Okay, you can find this in the mystery of bridegroom. It is bridegroom, I break it into two parts. Bride, I first of all, death with that. Groom, I also know death with that. Listen to that of the groom. You're going to find this mystery powerfully over there, established. Because the whole problem started from the first Adam, started from marriage. Marriage was being attacked right in Genesis 3 by this Allah of his light, okay? He quenched his light. So he attacked marriage. From there, marriage has been caused. Marriage has been messed up. Marriage has been turned upside down into darkness. So that is why his first miracle, he begins also where? In marriage, because that is where the problem was. So he fixed it back before he now spread his miracle, other kind of miracle to every other part. But first of all, he begins that journey of restoration right in marriage. So when he comes now, after he have, you know, brought, especially the angels first, you know, down here on earth, right away he's going into marriage, okay, at the feast of trumpet, the trap of Yehuda is going away, and the other 30 trap is will face tribulation, okay, but maybe three more, uh, three years or seven years, Revelation 20, they are coming back. That is why the first resurrection will wait until the, the one they want to be here, you know, being beheaded right in the face of the tribulation. Mm? Quickly, let me cut all the scriptures because I'm also running out of time. Then I will talk about it in the other video. In case you want, you also want to do your own study. So right now we are dealing with the functioning of the King of Kings kingdom. As it's coming, it's coming down with this uh, uh, glory. So uh, Matthew 19, 28, okay, it's talking about the kingdom. Matthew 25, okay, 31 to 35, Jeremiah 31, 31, Daniel 29, 24 to 27, Exodus 19, Kings, uh, 1 Kings chapter 1, and chapter 10, Hosea 1, uh, 1, 1, Romans 11, 25, 
Matthew 20, Matthew 15, 21 to 28, Galatians 3, 27, stroke 29, 1 Corinthians 12, Isaiah 41 to 2, Titus 2, 9, 1 Peter 2, 18, all right now, Ephesians 5, 6, Colossians 3, 22, 1 Timothy 1, uh, 6, 1 to 2, as uh, Ezekiel 47, 21 to 23, the function of the kingdom. Like I said already, this part, part deal with the slaves, okay? That is the one that converted, okay, into the trap of Yehudi. This is the, this is the function, all right? Yes. So like where we just read, Matthew 24, 29 to 31, said it's coming with great glory. Okay, including riches. You can see first King chapter 10 for that. He said one that is one greater than Solomon is here. So Solomon's we are the rich man in his own days. But Yahushua is gonna be richer than Solomon. Okay. Alright, now let me just throw this in. Jeremiah 31 31 is talking about the new covenant. The new covenant has not yet confirmed. And what we are seeing now, it is another revelation. Just as we received the old covenant in Exodus 19, the whole house. Together, the same, we're also going to accept the new covenant. The new covenant, as we are talking right now, is in the Ezer. And uh, First Kings makes it so clear, chapter 1, how Solomon was being ordained kings all over Israel, and the earth shook. So after we confirm, after he confirmed the new covenant with us, hey, we all is going to accept him as our eternal king, and the whole earth is going to quake that day. Hmm? So you can read the first king chapter 1 all through and see how the king and the one greater than Solomon is what we are talking about here Hosea chapter 1 verses 11 then shall the children of Yehudah and the children of Yazreel be gathered together and appoint uh, and appoint themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be the day of Yezreel that day is going to be great just as we see right in first king chapter 1 the same is going to be in fact more powerful. The whole earth is going to be is, is going to you know quite that day. The day we all is going to accept Yahushua as our eternal king and for the New Testament to be confirmed, just as the Old Testament. You see the way the Old Testament was being confirmed. He said, My son, quick, turn the fire everywhere. Uh, it's going to be 